And just like that, YouTube team, keep it clean. <laughs> Justin Houston is a Baltimore Raven. Whew. After all of that, wow. After just this entire summer, having so many conversations, so many videos about him, so many just comments, tweets back and forth about Justin Houston to the Ravens, why it made so much sense. It finally came to fruition. It's actually happening. Right now, I'm going to tell, I'm going to be straight up with y'all. It doesn't even seem real. It doesn't even seem real Man this feels like a dream And you know just what I mean It does not seem real At all um, But it is official Like when my boy Sean First sent me the tweet From Adam Schefter uh, Because I, I literally Just got out of the shower That's why I ain't got That Ravens hoodie on right now Because it's hot I ain't trying to be hot right now I said man Forget that Ravens hoodie right now It's too hot for that I ain't trying to sweat But anyway uh, When my guy Sean Sent me the tweet I was thinking I looked at it And I was thinking Oh man Did my boy Sean Did my boy Scribs Get got did he get okie doke by one of them little fake Adam Schefter accounts? Because you know people be trolling heavy. And you gotta watch. But it's real. It's real. Let's read the report. It says former All Pro Edge Rusher Justin Houston reached an agreement on a one year deal. One year deal. Hey, you come through. One year, that's it. We got you. Let's do it. Let's make it happen this year. But he came to an agreement on a one year deal worth up to $4 million with the Baltimore Ravens. That's real. It's real with the Ravens. Now, um, let's let's break that part down because we don't have all the, uh, the the numbers and whatnot of the deal. We don't have exactly what it's worth. But with it being a one year deal worth up to four million dollars, that does not mean it's a one year four million dollar deal. It's worth up to. So I guarantee you the guarantees are probably going to be at the most two mil at the most at the most. But my opinion, not fact, we'll see soon um, Probably by the time y'all see this video The details of the guarantees will have come out But a one year deal worth up to $4 million <sighs> Ravens did it again Justin Houston and Ravens made it happen uh, Anyway, and it says per sources Houston turned down significantly more money from other teams In order to pursue a championship <laughs> Hey, that, that part made me smile, man. Cause I, I, I haven't read this whole thing until, like, literally right now. I saw the top part that they reached an agreement, but I didn't read the bottom part till just now. And that, like, that just sounds so pretty, man. It sounds beautiful. Like, he turned down significantly more money from other teams in order to pursue a championship with the Ravens per source. I'm with it all day, man. I'm with it all day. All day, man. All day. Wow, these DMs going crazy right now. And I know Instagram DMs going to be going crazy right now, too. Um, I love y'all, team. Keep it clean. Real quick, I, I love y'all, and I appreciate the fact that y'all um, y'all show a lot of support. Uh, and y'all 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 show a lot of support to the work uh, that gets put into this. Um, and and y'all rock with us heavy. I rock with y'all even heavier. Um, so I, I really love y'all and appreciate it, man. Um, so Justin Houston, man, is it's real. This is actually real. It's crazy, man. Who would have thought? Well, I know a lot of people that would have thought. And, and like I told y'all before, man, when the whole Justin Houston thing first started buzzing a lot more, I wanted them to get him, but I didn't think it was going to happen. Didn't think it was going to happen. I was like, ah, yeah, this we, we know the usual. Like, right, And again, like we were talking about in the last video, there's a lot of people who just said they don't want to get their hopes up. They're like, oh, no, I ain't trying to get my hopes up. I ain't trying to get all hyped. I ain't trying to get all excited. And we could understand that, especially as Ravens fans, because we done been through it, especially this offseason. Like, we done been through it over the past couple of seasons. Like, of course, with the DeAndre Hopkins. And then they tried to trade for Jamal Adams. And, and then we, we've had all these maybes. But this offseason, it's been hitting, like, harder than ever. And, and we became just, well, at least me, myself, we became, like, numb to it. We became numb to the almost. Because with, with Juju Smith-Schuster, interested in him, but, oh, nope, turn him down. T.Y. Hilton, interested in him, even put offers on the table for both. Nope, they, they turned it down, both of them. Julio Jones, all the Ravens interested in him, but then once the draft hit, and they drafted Rashad Bateman and Tylen Wallace, we just think, okay, yeah, that's that's probably done. But then they were still saying the Ravens might be interested, but the Ravens like, nah, we we're good, we're good. Um, so it, it, we we so used to even with Justin Houston again. I think he visited earlier, but it was like, oh, even with Sammy Watkins, he initially visited, but then he left. It was like, oh, okay, cool, uh, no, okay. We just became so numb to it, and, and and we not that our expectations were lowered, but. 
we were just like used to, oh yeah, Ravens like this player, they like that player, they like that player, oh, but they ain't getting them. So I, I guess that's why it just, it still hasn't hit for me yet, but I love it. I love it. And I guess Justin Houston, he was like, you know what? I, I don't want to waste my time doing training camp without pads. I'm not doing it. Not doing it. No, nope. Mm -mm, I don't want to do it. Y'all ain't putting the pads on. Don't sign me. Don't ask me to come through because I'm not doing it. He just wanted to come to training camp when they put the pads on. But this is good, man, because this gives us a proven pass rusher. Proven guy. Now, I do still wish they would have taken the same approach. Well, they kind of did with Sammy Watkins, but it's a little bit different with him because he, he got that injury history. That's the only thing with him. But I wish they would have taken this approach to get a proven guy on offense at the wide receiver position too. Like a, a proven guy that has been producing as well. But that's a whole nother conversation. But Raven, th this really like, again, I told you, for me, I didn't feel like pass rush was necessarily a need. It was an unknown. But now, <laughs> oh, it's starting to hit that boy. <laughs> now we get an unknown guy, man. A known guy. Somebody who got credibility. Somebody who got consistency and consistent production. Consistent production as a pass rusher. My guy JT had texted me last night. And he said, um, he said Houston is better than Judon and Ngagwe put together. Put together. And this, when he sent that, he, he's not somebody that speaks off of emotion. He, he, he doesn't at all. He does not ever speak off of emotion. Because you know how some people, they, they, they're fans of the Ravens or whatnot. So they like ride or die with the Ravens. And they're like, oh, Ravens can do no wrong. And oh, da, da, da. No, he is not like that at all. He said, and, and he said uh, he's Pernell McPhee with more speed. So sort of versatile guy. So we'll see, man. We'll see. But I, I'm excited for it because this excites me for Justin Houston. This excites me for the Ravens. This excites me for their pass rush. This excites me for their entire defense. Health now. Health is the biggest key. Health is the biggest thing with this team, man. And, and, and now it's about really turning it on in the playoffs, man. It's, it's, it's about that right now. And I think what this move does, I feel like it's an underrated move because it, it gives you a veteran guy who's obviously been around the league for a long time. And again, he's had a lot of production for a long time. But um, when it comes to preparation, because that's what I feel like the, is the Ravens' biggest Achilles heel when it's come to their last three seasons. The lack of preparation in the playoffs has bit them in the behind big time. The lack of preparation has been terrible. They come out slow every single playoff game. Every single one. Even the, the one that they won against the Titans last year, they came out slow. 2018 came out slow. 2019 came out slow. Hottest team in the league. Best team in the league came out slow. 2020 against the Titans came out slow. And then against the Bills came out slow. Every time. But... This is why the additions of us, more so on offense for Sammy Watkins, that's why that addition was huge. Because, like I, like I say, every time we talk about Sammy, he's played in every type of game. So he can help bring that veteran presence, that veteran leadership. Because sometimes you just need somebody that's been there, done that. And that's Sammy Watkins. Justin Houston, he's a guy, he's been there, done that. He ain't got a Super Bowl, but he's had a lot of success. And he can help these young guys. It is not his job to help the young guys. Because shout out to Joe Flacco. Because I, I love when Joe Flacco said that about Drew Locke. When he went to the Broncos, it ain't my job to coach him. I ain't no coach. Because he's not. But a lot of the veteran players, they take it upon themselves to show the young guys the ropes. It's like when you go to a job and you're a new person. And your trainer, your trainer will teach you the stuff how the company wants it to be taught. But then you have the people that you're working with and they'll show you different ways like stuff that the trainers might not even be aware of, but they show you stuff that where you can really it, it can really help you a lot uh with that on the job training and just your work, period. So that's what a Justin Houston can be to Adafe away to Dalen Hayes. Um and, and then you still have again veterans. You got a good group of veterans. Calais Campbell, Pernell McPhee. And Calais Campbell played in the Super Bowl, but he lost the Super Bowl. Should have won, because that San Antonio Holmes catch was not a catch. He was on one foot, but another conversation for another day. Pernell McPhee, Super Bowl champion. Derek Wolf, Super Bowl champion. 
So the defense has a good set of uh, players, veteran players that got great experience. And now you add Justin Houston to the mix. These Ravens are ready. They're ready. I initially, um, my, my, when people ask me what my season prediction was for the Ravens, I said AFC Championship. And now I'm going to stick with that. I, again, like I said, I hope that I'm wrong. I really hope that I'm wrong. I do not want to be right about that at all. I want them to win the Super Bowl. But right now with adding Justin Houston, it makes them a significantly better team in my opinion. But now you got to show it. Now you got to show it. And again, regular season, not worried about them whatsoever in the regular season. I'm not. But playoffs, man. They got to they gotta put this thing together. Because for the last couple of years, they have had these really, really great teams. Really, really great team. Well, they really, really good teams. But this year, these dudes got another chance to really be great. Now they've had an offseason. Now they got all these solid additions. They, they, they got it, man. You got a chance to really do something, and I really hope these boys go off. Team Keep It Clean, I love y'all. I see y'all at the bank in a little bit because I, I don't think anything else is going to happen today that can't happen. But I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. We out.